Oh, hello there. Good morning, everyone. It's Rose, and welcome back to another What I Ate in a Day video. So I am out here sipping my first black beverage of the day. Believe it or not, it is actually not coffee. It is not coffee at all. It is actually, <laughs> let me get the bottle. My friends, it is ginseng extract. Yes, not sponsored. I actually have a sponsor for this video. <laughs> But this ain't it, okay? Uh, I don't know why I started like that. I have a sponsor. We have a sponsor. We do have a sponsor. Um, but it is not ginseng. <coughs> My parents actually got it from Korea. So you probably can't even get this anywhere but Korea. <laughs> they got it from Korea and they gave it to me a long time ago. It's been sitting in my fridge for probably for years. Not probably, let's be, let's be real. It's been sitting in my fridge for years. And I just saw that it, um, it just expired just a few days ago. I'm, I'm actually pretty surprised. I actually thought it probably expired like a year ago, but I don't really believe in expiration dates, so. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I've started drinking this. This has become part of my morning routine, if you will. For like three days, but still. <laughs> I was starting to feel a little bit, a little bit scratchy in the throat a few days ago and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna beat this. I'm gonna immune system up. What? <laughs> I'm going to up my immune system, yes. So I, you know, took this out of the fridge because I was like, this has to be good for you, you know? This is supposed to be very good for you. If you guys don't know, ginseng is some sort of a super fruit, super fruit, no, super food in Korea. A lot of Koreans swear by it and it's supposed to have a lot of benefits, so started drinking that and um, still a little, you know, <laughs> but I feel like I feel good. I don't feel sick. I feel like I feel better than I did a couple days ago. <laughs> Anecdotal? Yes, absolutely. I'm gonna drink this and I actually also have coffee waiting for me. So what I've been doing is drinking the ginseng tea first and then drinking coffee. And that's my routine, which is surprising because I very rarely do anything before drinking coffee. <laughs> but I thought this would be uh, a better drink to have on an empty stomach and then having coffee, you know, poison the body after. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't think coffee is poison. Okay. You know, but this is actually not that bad. <laughs> For the last few days, I've actually been putting like a giant spoonful of ginseng extract into the tea. So it was like super bitter because I felt like, you know, that's the only way to heal my body. <laughs> But this time, I put much less since I'm already feeling better, so I thought I don't need as much. And now that I'm taking it every day, I kind of want to make sure I don't uh, run out soon, even though it's expired. But again, don't believe in expiration dates. All right, you guys, so I'm going to drink this, and then we're going to drink coffee. Having some puffed wheat cereal and some leftover granola that's probably way too old. And then almond milk. And that is my simple breakfast. All right, guys. Ooh, let's get the lice up in here. Okay. Come on. All right, you guys, so I just had breakfast and I'm still working on the coffee, yes. Ah, it's delicious. And I'm probably going to uh, snack on this giant apple pear very soon. I'll show you. Korean apple pear. Face for scale. It's half my face. I got a big face. Okay. If you've never had one of these, it's so delicious. It's super juicy. It's so good. I'll show you. I'll show you later, okay? But first, I'm going to take my vitamins. And this brings us to the sponsor of today's video, which is Ritual. Yes. Oh, I'm really excited about uh, vitamins. <laughs> oh my God. This, this is how you know. This is how you know you're getting older because you start worrying about your health a little bit more, okay. So Ritual is actually a multivitamin designed for women by women and it contains nine different nutrients that you might be missing in your diet, that you might be concerned with. And what I love about it is that it just makes it super simple because they just have it all in here, okay? And I feel like pretty much all of the vitamins that I would be concerned with or even, you know, that I would be taking on a plant-based diet are all in here. So if you're looking for an easy way to take your vitamins and remember to take your vitamins and not have to have like, 10 different <laughs> jars of vitamins. This is definitely something that you might want to consider. So Ritual is obviously vegan. It is completely 
completely gluten-free, it is allergy-free, it is non-GMO, it is all of that good stuff. This thing contains vitamin B12, which is absolutely necessary, especially for vegans and vegetarians. Also contains vitamin D, also has uh, vegan omega-3 DHA, iron as well. Let me see what else it has. Vitamin E, vitamin K, folate, magnesium. Another great thing about them is that they're super transparent about where they source their ingredients. So you can find out on their website where they get their ingredients and it's all very high quality and very well researched. So you just have to take two daily and that covers you. Isn't that cool? It's very easy to like miss your vitamins or forget about your vitamins, um, especially if you're taking a few different vitamins um, a day. So this at least covers the basis. And if you leave one of these in on your desk or something at work or maybe at school, you wanna keep it in your bag, it just makes it so easy, you know? Let me take. So if you guys wanna get your hands on some Ritual multivitamins, you can check out that link down below, and that's gonna give you 10% off your first three months, okay? Which is awesome. So this is a great way to fill in the little gaps in your diet that you might be missing, the little nutrient gaps that you might not even be aware of, even if you're eating a healthy diet. Definitely check out that link down below. Thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring today's video and um, hooking me up with these awesome multivitamins. I'm super excited, and um, I think these can be really, really helpful for a lot of people. So yeah, took these. I was gonna say, I'm gonna take these. I already took them, okay? Now, I'm gonna finish up my coffee. All right, I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> I'll peel it and let's eat. been a few hours and now it is time for lunch. I was doing some work and I also did a podcast interview which was really fun. It was my first time being interviewed at a pod at a podcast it being interviewed by a podcast. So I'll link that video, not video. Oh my gosh, why can't I talk? I'll link the pod it, the, 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 I will link the podcast down below if you guys are interested. Um, I'm not sure if it will be out before this video. Either way, I'll link the podcast below. Now I need to eat lunch. I'm really hungry and um, I've been talking for like an hour. So pretty starved, a lot of energy expenditure. So let's see what, uh, what I'm gonna eat. I actually don't know what I'm gonna eat yet. So I'm gonna have to see what's in my fridge. Let's go, let's look. Okay. Hello, can you still see me? Okay. What am I going to eat? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. So I think I know what I wanna make. I definitely want some pasta. So I got some linguine noodles here. These are whole wheat linguine. And yesterday I was working with coconut milk. I was filming a video doing air fryer recipes, which I think will be out after this video, uh, but you definitely wanna check that out because <laughs> I made some delicious things, okay? Actually, I have to film another recipe for that video later today. But yeah, I have some coconut milk left over. And I think I actually did a hacks video where I show you how to make a really simple pasta sauce with, did I use pumpkin or sweet potato? I don't know. Either way, you can use pumpkin or sweet potato, but I have pumpkin. So I've got canned pumpkin here. So I'm gonna make a really simple sauce with canned pumpkin and coconut milk. So I have about half a can of coconut milk left and I'm gonna probably use about half of the pumpkin. And um, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, yay. All right, so I actually checked my old video, which is basically an easy uh, vegan recipes for lazy people video. That one I think is my most popular, most viewed video. And um, yes, I did make a pumpkin pasta using exactly this, pumpkin, canned pumpkin, and some coconut milk. So I'm gonna actually make that recipe, but I might add a few little things in there. But yeah, we're gonna make a really delicious creamy pumpkin pasta, which a lot of people have made, they said in the comments, and they enjoyed it. Smoked tofu, mushroom, Lots of minced garlic. And we're gonna start off with about half a can of the pumpkin puree. We're keeping it all in one pot to make it easier. And this is about half a can of coconut milk. And then we're just gonna mix that well and hope for the best. It already looks good, doesn't it? What I'm gonna do is add maybe about a tablespoon of liquid aminos. 
and the, whoa, I just splashed myself. No. So we added about one tablespoon of liquid aminos, which is kind of like a soy sauce. It's a soy sauce alternative. I don't know why I said it like that. A soy sauce? So we have garlic in here. We've got smoked tofu. We also have some mushroom and um, pumpkin and coconut milk. Let me just give this a little taste. Mmm. It's very pumpkin-y. I could just eat it like this. I'm going to turn this down. We are going to actually add my nutritional yeast. Ooh, like a lot of it. You know what, let's also add just a little bit of garlic powder, even though we've already added garlic, but you guys know I love garlic. And that should be it for the sauce. So we're gonna just mix that well. Super easy, super simple. This is a really great pasta for this time of year, fall, for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, I should say. Yum! Pasta is done. Let's throw this in. We're gonna turn this to a low again. Ooh, that looks good, right guys? Come on, guys. Mmm. There we go. Super simple pumpkin pasta. I'm gonna have it with a little salad. Just using a simple zesty Italian dressing. We're just gonna put a little bit. And there it is. Super simple pumpkin pasta creamy with smoked tofu and mushroom and a little side salad. That's my lunch. Yay! I wanna actually try this. Smells so good. Let's try this, baby. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. Mmm. Tiny bit more salt. But other than that, super bomb, super simple. Um, the smoked tofu is a really good addition to this. Just gives it that nice smoky flavor and so good. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll see you guys later. For dessert, I'm gonna have a little orange thing. What do you call this, a mandarin orange? I'm gonna have one of these. All right, I feel like a snack. I'm actually gonna snack on this little mini vegan charcuterie board that uh, we're selling at the cafe. And we just had it left over, so I thought, hey, I'm gonna have some. Um, it's got crackers, olives, some um, veggies, hummus, and a little vegan cheese. So I'm just gonna snack on it. I'm probably not gonna finish it all, but it's gonna have a little bit. Um, because I just feel a little snackish, you know? All right, you guys, I just got back from the gym and uh, the day is just flying by as usual. So I had a very short workout. It was like 20 minutes long, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's better than nothing, right? So I had a bit of a short uh, cardio session. I still, you know, broke a sweat, so that's good. Um, and now I have to make dinner, even though it's only 4.30, uh, because I'm actually going to my friend's house for Thanksgiving. It's actually Canadian Thanksgiving this weekend, and my friends are having a little get together, and I need to make something to eat. So right now I'm sipping on this um, buble. Okay, my buble. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, make a bit of a lentil and nut roast. So this is what I do like pretty much every holiday season. I make one of these because it is really good and it's healthy, it's filling, most people love it. So uh, yeah, it's something I make quite often. It's very like, you know, Thanksgiving-y. So uh, I'm just gonna use what I have. So I'm actually going to swap out a few ingredients uh, from one of my older recipes, which I'll link down below. So. This is a savory vegan nut roast recipe. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna swap out a few ingredients to change it up a little bit. Um, but most of it is going to be pretty much the same, I think. Let's, let's see what happens. Okay. So I have all kinds of nuts and seeds. So I'm just gonna use a mixture of a bunch. I also have this like old mixture that I made that I feel like I could just use. So here we go. I'm 
so instead of the tofu, I'm actually using canned lentils and I actually added in one cup of lentils. So let's see how this turns out. almond flour. My original recipe adds half a cup, but I'm going to try adding just a quarter cup. And we're also going to add a quarter cup of applesauce instead of uh, flax egg because I have applesauce and I think this is going to add a nice sweetness to this uh, loaf. And this is going to also bring it together. So the applesauce kind of acts as like an egg or a binder. Actually, what I'm also going to do just for experimentation is to add in a quarter cup of this pumpkin puree. And then we're gonna add in just another quarter cup of the almond flour. So basically, we're sticking to the total of half a cup of almond flour. You can also use oat flour, but uh, we're adding in some pumpkin puree to see how this will go. Just adding a little more dimension to the loaf. All right, just gonna give this a little taste. Mmm, yum. Yay, I think it's gonna be really good. It's already good. That's how you know your loaf is gonna be good, when it already tastes good. Now we can uh, put it in the pan. Just gonna spray this pan. And we are gonna cover it up with aluminum foil. And I'm just gonna add a couple little And then I'm gonna put it in the oven at 375 degrees. The oven is already preheated. I'm gonna put it in the oven for, um, you know what, let's try 40 minutes and then I'm gonna check on it and then maybe remove the foil. Uh, but we'll do 40 minutes for now, but I might need to do this for an hour. All right, so we're also gonna make a little glaze for the loaf, which is almost finished. Look at that sun just. So we're gonna do three tablespoons of ketchup. We're gonna do one tablespoon of apple vinegar. Not apple cider vinegar, this is just apple vinegar. We're gonna do one tablespoon of maple syrup. Never done this combination. Hopefully this will be good. Um, we don't know, let's try it. I mean, it tastes good. So I'm just gonna glaze this on top once we have about five minutes of cooking left. I have been cooking it now for almost an hour. So I think total cooking time is going to be an hour. Um, but five minutes before the hour, I'm gonna glaze this on top and then bake it for another five minutes. So this is what it looks like so far. And it feels pretty good. It feels pretty firm. That's usually my main concern when I'm making these. I don't know if it's gonna be like too mushy, right? So I think I made it just right, hopefully. So I'm gonna spread this as best as I can. Maybe I should have made a little more. That's okay. So we're gonna throw it back into the oven for another five minutes and then it should be finished. Look at that. I was trying to get a nicer slice out, but it looks a bit messy. But it's not about how it looks, guys. It's about how it tastes. Look at this. Mm. All right, you guys. So I finished making this lentil loaf, or not even, it's more of a nut loaf, but nut and lentil loaf. So I'm just going to try a little piece. I am bringing this to my friend's place, but 
um, I have to make sure it tastes good, you know? So, ooh, a little bit of that glaze going. Let's try. Mmm. 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 Success. With these things, it's a little nerve-wracking with like lentil lobes and any sort of loaf like this because you just don't really know how it's gonna turn out and it takes forever to actually cook in the in the oven. So it's always a reward when it tastes really good. So and I also made these like donut things. I don't know what to call them. Like air fried donut bites, Timbits, as I wanted to make them, but they don't really look like Timbits. <laughs> if you are Canadian, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh some of these are like fully powdered with powdered sugar. The rest I kind of kept it a little bit low key on the sugar because there's already a lot of sugar in the actual donuts themselves but these are air fried donuts or donut balls it's going to be part of my air fryer recipes video which might be coming out after this video but either way stay tuned for that because the recipe will be available these are pumpkin spice air fried donut balls what are these called i don't know pumpkin spice donut balls air fried uh vegan of course i'm going to be bringing these two things to my friend's place and I'm sure there'll be like vegetables and stuff. So I'll show you guys my dinner a little bit later. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's what I made. Ah, oh, that took forever. Oh my gosh. What time is it? <sighs> it took like two hours. Okay, it's not so bad. <laughs> so that's including a little bit of cleaning time. But uh, either way, it took about two hours to make the lentil loaf and the uh, the donut balls and all of that stuff. So now I need to go and get ready and and head to my friend's place So once I get there, I'm gonna show you guys like my plate and what I'm actually eating for dinner uh, But this is what I'm gonna be bringing so hopefully other people will enjoy it as well what I ate slash what I'm eating today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification bell beside it. It's just one click away. So make sure you subscribe for future videos. And once again, I would like to thank our sponsor, Ritual for supporting this channel. If you guys are interested in these multivitamins, make sure you check out the link down below to get yourself 10% off your first three months. And I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.